ponies on wheels this is going to be my first kind of like sit down informational advice video because i'm such a pro youtuber now young hot buddies on my line going crazy yeah young hot buddies on my line going crazy yeah young hot buddies on my line going crazy today by the title if you haven't if you can't read then shit you need to go to school Damn. today i'm going to be talking about things you need for your first horse and yeah, it's not conclusive, like I've probably missed out a heap of stuff, and if I have, then I'll put it on an end screen or like, I don't know, do like a voiceover or something. First thing that I want to say is that you do not need all of this when you start out. I literally went into a horse, having owning horses with a saddle, a bridle, a grooming kit, a girth, and that was it. Like, that was all I had. I didn't have any rugs for him, I didn't have, you know, any special, like... Products. I didn't have like a fancy holder and lead rope, he came with one. I didn't rush out and buy anything because I was all about that money saving life. You don't need to go out and buy any of this stuff like straight away. You can wait till you get your horse, you can buy all this stuff before. I probably wouldn't go ahead and buy a saddle before you buy the horse because that's a bit stupid. But the first thing that I would recommend is a holder and lead rope because obviously you need something to get your horse on the floor with. Usually they will come with one. Um, I'm sorry, the window's open. I don't know whether that's making too much noise or not, but it's super hot. It should come with a halter and leader up. If they don't, you can go purchase your own. They come super cheap, so like, don't worry about buying the most expensive thing because you can save up or put it on lay-by or, you know, buy a really nice one when you get to know him or like something like that. Like, you don't need to go out and spend like $100 on a halter, like that's crazy. Next thing I'd recommend is grooming supplies because you probably won't be riding your horse for the first like week that you have it, unless you're like me and cannot contain oneself. Literally, you can get the basic, basic um, grooming kit that there is on the market, like a body brush, a dandy brush, hoof pick curry comb, yeah, that, and, a, and a comb for their mane and tail, and that's literally all you need. If you are wanting to spend a little bit more money, or if you just want to have this in your tack assortment, you can buy hoof oil, which is basically to help with your horse's hoof. I highly recommend the Farrier's Choice if you're looking for one, but I can do a DIY hoof oil type thing because I know how to make DIY hoof oil. Again, definitely something you don't need, but you can buy a detangler if you have extra money. Again, fly spray if you have extra money. I literally don't use fly spray at all on my horses. I'm like, you live in Australia, you gotta kinda tough it out a little bit. Like, the flies where we are aren't, are, aren't terrible, so. The thing that I probably would recommend that you buy is a lunge line. They're reasonably inexpensive too. I think you can pick one up for like $10 and even cheaper secondhand. It definitely helps to have a lunge line, whether you're doing groundwork with your horse, or whether you're just, you know, lunging them before you ride them or want to have a little bit of extra line if they're going to be a little bit silly, they can do it on the end of the line, away from you. The thing I'd recommend is a bridle, and the thing about bridles is that they are sizable, but you kind of, you probably have an idea what size horse you're getting, so if you're going for a horse over 15 too, I would totally get a full size bridle. I don't really think, like, I don't know, but like most of the horses that I've had all fit into full bridles, even like... Penny fits into a full bridle and she's 14 too. So, I don't know, like if you had a really fine pony, then yeah, like you look into a cob size, but I don't know. Obviously, if your bridle doesn't come with reins, you need reins, and if you're extra, you can buy a really pretty brow bed, but you don't need one of them. Next thing is a saddle pad. You can probably even use a towel if you wanted to. Pads are pretty cheap. I know you can get them for like $10 over in the US. Here it's like $25 for like your basic standard model. Of a saddle pad like here, basic, very, very, very basic. It's yeah, Australia's expensive, people. Give me your fucking money. Next thing I would recommend is stirrups and stirrup leathers. This is the understatement of the century. I always didn't think about it, but stirrup leathers are so expensive, and so are stirrups. Like, how can I justify one hundred and twenty-five dollars for a strip of leather? Like, what? I just Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? to me like stirrup leathers I didn't think they'd cost that much but they do. Next thing I would recommend is a water bucket and a feed bucket because you need something to water your horse with and you need to feed it so usually unless you've got a really good doer like Penny who can just survive off grass and hay. I lo love the tub truck buckets they're really really good my, my horses hardly wear them at all or I like the fence feeders because my horses tip their food food out and it is so annoying because I literally just see money falling on the ground and then they don't eat it. So the thing is bins to store food in. It's not something that you think about, but like you do need bins to put your horse's food in. If you are camping somewhere or if you have your horse stable, you will definitely need a hay net. 
probably doesn't come to mind is bedding. If you stable your horses, you will need bedding for your horse. Whether you choose sawdust, shavings, or straw, it literally doesn't really matter, to be honest. Not that it matters to me, but some people it does. Um, depending whether you're on a full board or par board, or like, if you keep your horses at home, like, they may provide bedding for you, but if they don't, then that will be something you need to consider. Rugs. I probably wouldn't go out and buy rugs until you actually have your horse in the paddock, because you don't know what size they are, and... I mean, I've been pretty lucky, like, all my horses have been, like, six foot size, and then Eddie was, like, six six, and he was huge. But really hard to buy for rugs, because Penny's 14 two, and she fits into a six foot, and Spencer's 15 two, and he fits into a six foot. So, it's, um, yeah, wait until you have your horse to buy rugs. Saddle, I mean, again, you have to wait until you buy your horse to get a saddle fitter out to fit a saddle to your horse, so, and to you. So, it's not something that you want to buy if you don't have a horse that you ride all the time, or... Like, you don't want to buy a saddle and then have it not fit your new horse, because that would be so devastating. Next thing I'd recommend, if you're you're buying quite a green horse, or if you're buying an off-the-track thoroughbred, perhaps, is a martingale. And I think the use is actually quite confused with these, but basically I was talking to a professional who rides, like, professionally, and basically what she uses a martingale for is to help soften your rain aids, especially when jumping fences, because... Occasionally we can get way, way too in our horses' mouths and ask for a halt, like a half halt, and then we ask too much and unfortunately like we can sometimes catch our horses in the mouth and the martingale, the way it works is that it comes um, down like that instead of jarring up into the roof of the mouth. If that makes any sense? Like am I making any sense? That's kind of why I use it, but again it's also really good for helping to um, stop your horse knocking you out if they are hot and love to stick their head in the air so yeah again it's a band-aid don't like take my word but it is a good idea to have one if you are going into show jumping or eventing or something like that insurance that's another huge thing that no one talks about insurance for your horses is so important if you have an expensive horse if you have a really cheap horse like me it probably doesn't matter that much so obviously insurance is super important if you're making an investment in a horse because horses are expensive and especially expensive horses they are expensive so if you're going to spend like five grand on a horse, it would be really wise to insure them. Um, I personally don't insure my horses because they are replaceable um, in terms of their value. Spencer was $800 and Penny was free. So although I spent well over 10 grand on each of them, it's, you know, they're replaceable at the end of the day and I could afford to replace them if needed. So if you are making an investment in an, in, in an more expensive horse, I would totally look at at insurance or if you are leasing your horse or just if you don't have the means to replace your horse you know what I mean like insurance is a really really good option um, if your horse sustains an injury or they have a massive vet bill insurance can be good sometimes it cannot be good but definitely shop around for a right policy that suits you the last thing I want to talk about was like boots and bandages like if you need them like you might need them I don't know Depending on what discipline you do, I suppose. The things that you don't think about, again, are is having a vet kit. And these take a while to stock up, so don't, like, go out and, like, buy a huge, massive vet kit. Um, if you talk to your local vet, they'll be able to give you a list of the things that you need to put in your vet kit. They may even give you, like, medications and topicals, lotions and potions and stuff to put in your vet kit so that it's all ready to go if your horse has an injury, which... God forbid, but honestly, it has saved me so many times having a well-stocked vet kit. A rope halter. So, one of the things that kind of irks me a little bit is how quick people are jumping to chains and, like, I think they call it, like, chain chains. And, like, they're completely fine. Like, I understand why people use them. Like, I've used one before, but it's, um, I just find a rope halter way more effective for me personally because I'm... A novice so I don't really want to be using a chain on my horse so I would highly recommend a rope halter and like a 20 foot or like even like a 14 foot like a rope like a long rope um, instead of a lunge line is such a good tool to be training with probably need a lunge whip and a crop or a dressage whip depending what discipline you do kind of some things that I would think about there's obviously so many more things that you can buy for your first horse but I just want to start off on the basics and that's like a pretty comprehensive list as it is. I definitely didn't start out with all that stuff. So, I mean, even if you've got like five major things on the list, like that's a start. So, I hope this helped in some way and I hope you're really excited to get shopping for your new horse.
and congratulations on getting your new horse, that is so exciting. I literally can remember the first day I had my horse and I was so, so excited. So, I trust this video helps and I will see you in next week's video. So yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and comment below the first thing that you will be buying for your first horse. Anyways, bye guys! Okay, so me being the clutter, duck brain, chicken, fish, whatever, something that doesn't have a good memory, I forgot to include a girth. You would definitely need a girth because that kind of is like what holds your saddle on your horse. And, I mean, you can also buy a breastplate. You can also, you know, yeah, I think that's that's all I have to say. Maybe a pooper scooper. I don't know. That's like, yep. Anyways, I, yeah, this is a really bad voiceover. I forgot to mention bits as well. You can buy a bit before you get your horse, but there's not really much point because you don't know what bit he goes in. And you could just waste some money. So, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Goodbye. On my line, going crazy, yeah. Young hot bodies on my line, going crazy, yeah. Young.